Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you the Encase iPad cover, uh, is I believe what they're calling it. Uh, I'll give a few more specifics about the actual who makes the case and things like that. If you're closer to the end of the video, let's go on and just jump right into this case itself. It's made by Encase, and uh, so you can see the Encase logo right there. Kind of hard to get the shot. Right there we go, and uh, it's a leather case. I think with some kind of hard material between the leather here so it's not leather all the way through obviously we've got your iPad in here close it up here you can kinda look around it we've got our port holes so here at the bottom and if you as you can see with my first problem with it, it doesn't really line up very well and it slides out but there's 30 pin connector your uh, speakers here your uh, three and a half or sorry your three and a half millimeters over here it's hiding under the case here, there it is, and your uh, sleep wake switch or button. And here you've got your uh, rotation lock and your volume up and down. So if I go uh, to the back here, I keep forgetting about the back uh, elastic here, basically you'll take the elastic, you'll take the back, wrap it around like this, and now you can hold your iPad like this and use it. So, pretty nice there. That's a little feature to have if you're going to carry it around like that. And, uh, now it's, and now if you see if I open it up, you've got these three ridges here, which is another really neat thing about this case. So you can probably have it at three different angles when the Apple case only gives you one. So that's the top angle right there. That's when we're watching movies. That's where we get the second angle. And the third angle I have a bit of trouble with. Maybe it'll do it for me. I don't know if it's not, but there... There's a third angle, and usually what happens is that right there, I don't know if you saw it, but it'll just fall. And it will not stay there sometimes to save my life. And, uh, I don't, it has to do with just the way that this back part that holds the iPad in, and the iPad itself. So, as you can see, I let it go there, and it falls on that third one. So the second one and the first one work fine, but you get down to that third one, and it falls. And that's what really drives me nuts about this case is this uh, last angle is really good for typing and things like that, but it just falls flat. So you're more typing at this really looking down angle, which is kind of uncomfortable. And uh, another thing I don't like about this case, if I get, if I don't lose, there, if I don't lose the the fiber cloth here, but uh, is that it slides out. So let me show you this here. Try not to hopefully not drop the iPad. And if I just hold it like this, with the iPad, like this, it's immediately going to start slipping. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's starting to slowly slip out as I pull, and there it goes. It, it's already fell out. It's already starting to fall out. Now if I back up in here, hold it up, and it's just going to start slowly falling out. I don't think we'll do this exact, I don't see why you would be holding it like this, and there it's falling out. So it's just really kind of agitating, you're constantly pushing this back up inside the case, I wish it had something like the Apple case does where you uh, stick a flap around underneath there to keep it inside the case and secure. Uh, let's see. Anything else I know about this case here? You know, other than the uh, army pushing, pushing all the time to get that in there. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty nice case. If it didn't do that, this case would be pr almost perfect. If those, if uh, in case if you're watching this and you've got some uh, something you want to tell me, just leave it in the comments, send me a PM, just contact me somehow, and I will see what I can do, but it just really drives me nuts that it falls out like that extremely easily, uh, it, it, and especially for the price of this, which I'll get to here right now, so let me flip it back over here. So here it is, here's the, uh, the actual case here, it's the in, it's the in-case convertible book jacket for iPad. Here's what they show here. It comes in one color, black. And, uh, you know, they make it look really nice on here. And I just really wish they would, you know, the reviews are actually a bit higher than I would like to, to, to see them. They really don't give it justice for how terrible my unit at least was. And for $60, I really expected more from Encase and their design team over there because they make some really good iPhone cases, but this convertible book jacket really disappointed me and I don't see me getting any in case stuff here for a little while because even Apple's case you know seems to be doing would be better 
um, it seems to me right now because it's not going to slide out. Anyway, other than that, this is a really nice case because the Apple case is made out of neoprene, so this is actually a better material, and I would trust dropping this better than I would any other case. But still, for actually using the device, I would really just pull out the iPad and use it without the case, especially because, I'll show you here, it's a really huge case. This thing's big and it's bulky. So anyway, uh, other than that, this is a really nice case, and uh, don't forget to rate, con <laughs> don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Uh, more I iPad content coming up soon. I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.